Good morning, Dr. Omni. Jordan here, and I just wanted to do a quick video for you. Just um, had a cool conversation with Jen, and really, really trying to hammer out some of these service pages. And I know uh, it can be frustrating for you. We've come across a couple roadblocks, and and really uh, some some ways that things are being done by your previous um, marketer that just really aren't effective. It's kind of the bare minimum, I like to call the industry standards of checking off boxes and making sure, hey, we have service services or symptoms listed out in blogs and not to say that that's a bad strategy but what we really want to start focusing on doing for you guys is targeting physicians uh, with search when they're searching online and then also targeting uh, patients when maybe they are uh, they feel like options are limited right we've talked about that before where they have to get a hysterectomy or they have to get a prostate um, gland removal or however that goes we want to make sure that they understand that these types of services do exist um, by by a highly credentialed uh, medical provider um, and I think you know you already have the, the industry or the medical industries uh, kind of stuck in their traditional methods or their referral system and we're trying to buck the trend here we don't want to do the bare minimum uh, and just list stuff like this so what I'm trying to do uh, we have the main landing page is complete varicose veins and then the uh, ambulatory phlebectomy would kind of be the last one I believe is for PAD and what we're trying to do is just how can we create as many uh, landing pages as we can to kind of maximize that the, the money that you already gave us obviously blogs do work to a certain degree but medically blogs are really really um, competitive especially with like web WebMD they're gonna be number one for most informative blogs so you're gonna be lucky to get in top 10 first page or even top five in search rankings and you know if somebody's searching for this this term right here which I'll actually just show you this is who you're competing with so you have the Mayo Clinic WebMD Medical News Today Medicine Net Healthline ASDS UCSF Health radiology info all these companies even Wikipedia look Wikipedia is typically number one for stuff like this Stanford they're gonna rank above you so no matter it don't matter you have this blog here and you have this general information which by the way most of this information is pulled from these top 10 blogs anyways so you're not gonna you don't have anything that's overcoming them so what we're trying to do is create landing pages for you to fi uterine fibroids treatment which is what people are actually searching for if it's a patient, maybe a medical provider, we want to be able to capture those. We can use this keyword uterine fibroids embolization, but at the end of the day, people want to know how they're going to get treatment. So these landing pages are geared towards people looking for that treatment. They come on page, here's the phone number they call if they want an appointment, if they want more information, and, and not you know have maybe talk to a salesperson or, or they're not ready to schedule, they can do that. Um, if they want to request new patient form or another way maybe to get more information via email we can do that too as many ways that we can try to get them to inquire so we can follow up once we have them as a lead that allows us to work with it but if they're coming to our site for information like this in most cases they got the information they need they're gonna talk to their um, their provider their uh, personal provider and um, and gonna go off a recommendation right so we want to persuade them and so what I was talking to Jen about this morning is what 10 to 15 services or options, I guess, let's try not to look at it from a procedure standpoint. How, can we position DVVI? So somebody, so we started talking a little bit, and this is just going to be an example. I know you guys have already talked about compression fracture. Compression fracture maybe isn't something that is marketable, like you said before, um, and even, uh, I, I forget the actual procedure what it's called but I know you were pretty adamant about we can't market this but I want you to try to think outside the box for me here because this is where we're gonna be able to really kick butt online for for you guys um, we want to think of the stuff that people are searching for maybe something that they found out or something that a physician is looking to refer out that uh, we can capture leads with compressor fracture is gonna be one of them 90 searches a month in just central Phoenix right here here's my target area so this isn't even including maybe surrounding areas, like surprise where I'm at or uh, Sun City West maybe. Um, and we're getting 90 searches a month. It's low competition. And if we do PPC, which is pay-per-click, which we're going to do next month, you're paying 13 cents a click. So if you get 100 clicks, it's 
And if you even close 2% of that, which is going to be two, you, you cost, you um, convert two patients out of those 100 clicks, then you're basically, it's $13. What's your return on that? Let's say it's 10,000 bucks for the procedure itself. That's your, that's your margin. You're basically at a, how do you divide that out? I mean, at least a thousand to one return on investment. So, I mean, I would spend a hundred thousand dollars on that all, all day long if you're going to get that type of return. Obviously, we want to be smart about it, but these are the types of stuff, the terms that we want to start figuring out. So, this is what I, I do kind of here on the back and what I've been looking and researching over the past couple of weeks, which you're obviously not able to see progress on. But here we go. We could be even more specific with the compression fraction, compression fracture. We have the treatment now on the end. There's also going to be uh, other terminology here that we can use, fractured vertebrae treatment, whatever the case may be, different terms that people are searching for. Um, and as you can see, uh, compressed vertebrae 10, it's pretty much free. There's no competition here. 10 searches a month. Compression fracture treatments, 10 searches a month. That's even cheaper at $0.09. Cents. So we could literally have a campaign where you're getting 110 searches a month you could try. You could probably get all of those searches to your website, um, like I said before, for like 15, 20 bucks, tops. So um, that's an example. I and I don't want to overwhelm you here, I, but I do want you to look at all these services that you have and be able to tell me, okay, how do we break down some of these pages now, and how do we actually speak to the consumer, how do, or the patient, how do we actually speak to physicians? Spider veins is another one. We could talk about spider veins all day. Well, we want to target spider veins treatment. What are the treatment methods for that? Um, what's the, the radiology that, that we use? Or, um, you know, I think there's like a stent. Maybe we use a stent or just uh, embolization, whatever it is. Like, what is the actual terminology that I can research and we can create pages for? Because we, if we do a compression fracture treatment page, I think that's worthwhile. It may not seem like it to you, but we have all the options as far as what you do. Some, some reviews, um, some overviews of, of the center that you have, that's gonna convert people all day long. So, um, you know, I, I just wanna be able to start taking these blogs, which are just informative, and being able to take little, take little sections out of it, like something like this, and create a whole page that people are actually searching for. Um, but I don't wanna be limited to, you know, just like women's health procedures, because it's gonna be hard for us to rank for those. So. Think about that. I talked to Jen, gave her some advice. Obviously, this is very vague for you, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But that's why I sent you those questionnaires over that you filled out the other day with your Scott, uh, because I want to I want to be able to pull out as much information I can from each procedure, even if you don't think that it's it's ideal to market. I want to pull out information and create landing pages um, that's going to be very valuable to you. So um, let me know what you think, and uh, we can kind of go from.